2016 Land Rover Range Rover Sport TD6 Mystery Fuel Leak. A few days after getting the Range Rover returned from having its 16,000 mile service completed, I walked out to find my parking spot covered with diesel fuel. A quick look under the car discovered a small but steady drip of fuel. It had soaked the ground and saturated the inner fender well material. Thinking I could discover the source of the leak, I opened the hood to find a couple of oil-soaked shop rags that had been left down in the engine bay from the previous week's service. Time to call the dealer. Unsure of the issue, my local Land Rover dealer decided the safest bet was to have the Range Rover towed in for service. Excellent. I wasn't pressed for time, and this would give me a chance to experience Land Rover's complimentary roadside assistance, which covers all vehicles under warranty. A quick call to the hotline and a tow truck was on its way. Arrival time? 90 minutes? I realize free is a really good deal, but an hour and a half is a long time to wait. Luckily, I was home, so waiting 90 minutes wasn't going to be an issue, but if I was on the side of the road, I probably would be upset. 90 minutes came and went and still no tow truck. Another call to the hotline informed me that it would be another 45 minutes, so I gave the key to my wife and took an Uber to the dealer to pick up a loaner to head into the office. Hours passed, the sun set, and finally, six and a half hours after first calling roadside assistance, the tow truck arrived to bring the car to the dealer. So what was the source of the mystery fuel leak? Part of the 16,000 mile service involves replacing the fuel filter, which caused a failure in the fuel filter seal, allowing fuel to seep out. What caused the oil-soaked tracks to be left in the engine bay? The answer to that wasn't relayed to me and was laughed off by the service representative. Since the return trip to the service department, the rover has been flawless. While I was out of town, a co-worker had a small run-in with the pole at a very busy gas station, but luckily the damage was minor. I continue to enjoy every day I spent behind the wheel, 